Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B Plus RV specialists. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. And we'll put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you follow that link, it's going to take you over to our website where you can see the pricing and the information on this unit. However, once that, this unit is sold, that link will be removed as that web page is no longer live. We are a full service dealer. We do have a warranty as well as financing. If you have any questions on those, please feel free to give us a call at 440 Ohio RVs. Alrighty, folks, it's time for the inside portion of today's video tour. We are inside of this 2006 Road Trek 210 Versatile. This one has 60,726 miles on it. 60,726 miles on this 2006 Road Trek 210 Versatile. We have four front chairs up here that are all leather. Both front seats do swivel. The driver's seat is going to be partially limited on how far that swivels because the back of the seat is going to hit the steering wheel. We do have a total of six seat belts in this unit. The four front chairs and the two in the back of the coach. And this unit is going to sleep up to four people. Two of those being in the back of the coach and two of those being in the front of the coach here. All four leather chairs are still in very good condition. This passenger seat is going to make a full swivel because there is no steering wheel on this side for that seat back to hit. So in order to sleep people up front up here, you're actually going to swivel these chairs. You can face them in, out, or rearwards. And then you're going to use the bottom and the back of this uh, jump seat back here to basically span the gap across here to create yourself a small twin bed. You're going to replicate that on the driver's side so you can sleep two people up front and then again two people in the back of the coach and all four of these front chairs are belted we do have one table position up here so if all four of you if there's four of you traveling together and you wanted to sit up front and dine you can uh, spin those front two chairs and the four of you would be facing each other for a dining position there in the front of the coach we have our control center here this one here's our levels test button if we push that it's going to give us Roughly how much is in each one of our tanks. Our water pump switch, and then our battery disconnect switch. We have the switch to turn on our water heater, and the remote start for our Odin 2800 generator, which is showing 148 hours. This here is our fuse panel, as well as our circuit breakers, so 110 circuit breakers and 12 volt fuses. Uh, these little guys here, somebody added some of those glowing stars to them. These are the covers that are gonna go over our little triangular uh, shaped windows in the front of the coach. Switch here is for the outside porch light. Uh, Road Trek does try to use every square inch of space that they can for storage. Got all of our manuals there in the blue bag. Lots and lots of storage for even for a small motorhome. Uh, this unit does have kind of two different levels as far as floor height. This area here is the recessed drain pan. They do that uh, so your water stays in this as well as gaining a little bit of headroom in the center portion of the coach here. Um, so we've got about six feet, one inch of headroom here. Uh, and then it's going to be a little bit less back here than back because that does step up there. So we've got six feet, one here. Going to step up a little bit there. I didn't get a measurement there, uh, but it looks like that lip's probably two to three inches. Uh, kitchen area here on the driver's side of the coach. Nice solid surface countertops. So we got a nice large kitchen countertop here. Single basin kitchen sink. Does have a cutting board or a cover for that. Uh, so if you need a counter space, place that on there and you can use that as counter space. Two burner cooktop. Again, also has this nice cover for it. So if you need the counter space, put the cover on there and you can use that for counter space. Range hood with fan and light. Um, again, more storage over top of that. The couple drawers here, that one's got a nice organizer for your utensils. Slide out pantry here for your canned goods or dry goods. This one has more of a uh, toaster oven microwave style in it. Door flips down. And I believe they call it a Samsung uh, toast and bake. Yep, Samsung toast and bake. Storage down here, we got a tiny trash can. Um, water pump is located right there. Nice and easy to get to that for winterization, as well as the back of your water heater. You can see there's a couple of valves here, which again, uh, makes it nice and easy to get to those for winterization purposes. We do have the typical three-way refrigerator. Now this one is a little bit larger than your 190s, 170s. Uh, it's more of a counter height, so a little bit taller unit. 
It is still going to be a three-way, so it's going to operate on 12 volt electricity, 110 volt electricity, or propane gas. It does have the freezer compartment up top, like all of them. Uh, previous owner or one of the previous owner modified. Uh, put this little fan in here with a little switch there. So if you want to circulate some air in there to help cool that fridge, uh, as these do not have a compressor, they do not circulate air from the factory. Uh, they actually cool the fridge by um, taking the heat out. The heat and ammonia-based solution, which then draws the heat out of the inside of the refrigerator. Uh, wet sh aisle shower wet bath. If you haven't followed any of our videos, you don't follow our channel, uh, kind of how these work. Obviously got our commode here. And then we've got our shower valve here with our shower wand. It goes up here. You can see the shower curtain here. You're actually going to pull that out and around. The track here in the ceiling, we can turn the fantastic fan on to exhaust any heat, steam, anything like that. Also works good on those cool nights, cool mornings. Uh, those things actually move quite a bit of air through here. So you're actually going to stand in this aisle here when you take your shower. You're going to pull that shower curtain out and around you. Stand right here, take your shower. This here is your drain. And this whole gray area is a fiberglass form drain pan that is sloped to that drain. So as long as you're parked level, the water's going to run to that drain. Take your shower. When you get done, dry off. Then drop your towel on the floor. Dry the floor up. And you are ready to get back to camping. TP holder located up top there. Our propane furnace is down bottom. This one here is your wardrobe. Can also be used as pantry space. Some nice shelving unit here. Here's the four leaf clover style uh, road trek table that they're known for. Two table legs back there. And again, this one is nice and tall. It does have the rack up here, so if you want to hang your clothes in there, you can do so. Uh, these doors, the one bathroom door as well as this door, I forgot to mention on the bathroom door, but these are actually a two piece door. There are hinges here and little clasps here that hold this together. This will fold out and fill in this gap here. Again, kind of replicates on the on the same on the bathroom door towards the front of the coach uh, to give you that privacy when you're using the restroom or taking a shower. Storage up top here is fairly deep. Does go back alongside the AC unit. Got some extra cushions in there for you. This is a Cool Cat heat pump. That Cool Cat heat pump is going to give you air conditioning as well as electric heat down to about 40 degrees outside ambient temperature. Anything below 40 degrees, you're going to use the uh, propane furnace that I showed you just a second ago. There is another table location back here, so if you want to place the table back here, you can also do that as well. There is a larger table right there, the whiteboard that is intended to be stored back there. There's a pocket, so the, the base on the table that goes down into that pocket. Um, so you can place that table. You can place the small table back here if you want, put the big table. They're really interchangeable. You can put either one either spot. Uh, but when you want to make this into a bed, you're going to use this table that's back here. This is going to sit on this ledge here to fill in this center section. The table's going to fill in here. It's going to sit down. They're going to take these back cushions from either side and lay down the center of this bed to make this one large bed. Uh, bed measurements on this one are we are about 55 inches in width. 55 inches in width and then about 79 inches in length. So a nice long bed for you taller people, about 79 inches in length. This is a versatile. The versatile is intended to be slipped uh, crossways east to west. If you see the road track populars, those are intended to be slipped north to south. Again, this is a versatile. This is intended by road track to sleep east to west. And again, we're about 55 by 79. Both of these back windows uh, on the sides here, they do open. There's a crank on that side. The bottom portion here is what opens. It tips out and it is screened. The thermostat, which is going to operate your, your uh, cool cat as well as your propane furnace, all three modes, your, your AC, your furnace, and your heat pump are all on one thermostat there to make it nice and easy. The little black thing back there is a cup holder. Uh, we do have surround sound uh, speakers back here. Again, as I stated at the beginning of the video, two seat belts back here for a total of six seat belts. Uh, there are curtains on the back windows. These doors do open. So if you wanted to shove something through the back, you can do that. 110 outlet there, another cup holder. Again, bottom portion of that window does open. It's gonna crank out and it is screened. Originally the DVD player and that type of things would have been in there. We have replaced the TV. It's a 19 inch flat screen TV and it does have the built in DVD player on the side. It eliminates the DVD player and things in that cabinet, it frees up some space for you. 
this is on a swivel or hinge mount so this tv is going to swing out uh, so you can kind of watch it at a different angle back here it will also swing all the way around towards the front what does a thesaurus have for breakfast a synonym roll all of the hup holstery uh, fabric everything on the cushions back here in good shape uh, we do have a noxious gas detector back here in the bed uh, carpet is faded a little bit, but it did clean up pretty nicely. Uh, overall, inside and outside condition of this unit is very nice. Uh, 2006 model with, again, uh, 60,000 miles. Overall rating on this one, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this thing about a 9. 10 being the best or perfect, and 0 being the worst. Uh, outside shined up nicely, interior cleaned up very nice as well. All of the leather, the upholster in the back, everything's still in good shape. Uh, Chevy chassis, again, just over 60,000 miles. We've got power windows, power locks, tilt, cruise. Um, head unit's been upgraded. By head unit, I mean radio. Uh, it does not have a CD player. It is a, uh, what they call like to call a multimedia receiver. It has Bluetooth capabilities as well as auxiliary inputs. Uh, CDs are kind of becoming a thing of the past, and everybody wants to use their iPhone or smartphones to play their music on. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but again, overall, very, very nice clean unit. Um, 60,000 miles, new tires, new shocks, uh, fully serviced, been all gone through here by our techs, inside and outside, coach and uh, chassis, everything as well. Comes with a 30 day lim limited warranty. If you have any questions on this one, please feel free to give us a call at 440 Ohio RVs. That's 440. O H I O R V S. Alrighty, folks, it's time to run on the outside of this 2006 Road Trek 210 Versatile. We are 21 and a half feet from bumper to bumper. We have four brand new tires as well as four brand new Bilstein shocks. We have an 11 foot awning. This one does sit on the Chevy 3500 chassis. It is powered by the 6 liter Vortec V8 engine. The white paint on this thing shine up beautifully. The stripes, which are the blue color, are also in very good shape. Overall, very good condition on the outside of this Road Trek 210 Versatile. Give you a couple shots here of the stripes. First thing we come to here is our coach batteries. Our coach batteries are on a slide out tray. This one does have two six volt batteries. Uh, two six volt batteries actually get you a longer run time than two 12 volt batteries. Vent for a propane furnace. We have a small slide out drawer here in the passenger's rear corner, storage area here. Coming around to the back of the coach. We do have the tow package down bottom. If we remove this little panel here, this is going to give us access to our propane tank where they are going to fill your tank as well as you can manually shut that tank on and off. Driver's side of the coach, we've got this uh, a smaller size slide out drawer here for storage. See our shore power cord coiled up there. Our shore power cord is going to hook in right here. We've got our outside shower, cable TV connection, and then our city water connection. This little plug here comes out so you can run that hose or your uh, shore power cord out the little hole there if you want to close the drawer. Vent and access to our water heater, vent and access to the back of our refrigerator. Nice large storage compartment here on this side. This is on our slide out tray. Uh, previous things that were left in here by the previous owners, a coax cable. Uh, we've got our shower hose there for the outside shower and then a fresh water or garden hose. Our gray water and our black water valves. This one does have a macerator pump. The hose for the macerator pump is located right here. So to actuate that pump, a switch is right here in this door jam. Push the switch here to activate that pump. While we're also in here, that's where you're going to fill your freshwater tank. Give you a look at the stripes here on this driver's side of this unit. You can see it's shined up very nicely and all the stripes are in very good condition.